Okay, this video is about how to make a composite video cable uh, to connect a TRS-80 Model 1 to a standard composite monitor. Just some history, TRS-80 Model 1, of which I have mine here, was originally released with one of these monitors, an RCA uh, disemboweled black and white television, which was sold with the computer and um, actually works quite well with the computer. The problem in today's uh, this day and age is a lot of people find the uh, the computer for sale on eBay or Craigslist or wherever and don't have the monitor. One thing we learn with the TRS-80 Model 1 is that the monitor connection which is this one in the middle here is not a composite connection so we need to make a cable that goes from the five pin DIN to an RCA plug like that and then we can connect TRS-80 Model 1 to a typical composite monitor such as Commodore 1084S monitor so I'm going to show you how we do that now okay the first thing we need is an RCA cable such as a regular audio patch cable and a um, 5 pin DIN connector that will match up to the back of the TRS-80 so we'll open that and I'll show you what's in it okay we have a hood protector some um, sides so that the uh, to support the hood connector and the actual pin assembly itself first thing we do is cut off one of these off the end of the audio connector and discard it the next thing we do is we want to expose the two um, uh, conductors uh, two cable conductors through there one will be right down the middle the other will be shielded so I will uh, just stop the video and open them up and I'll show you what I mean okay I'm in focus there it is so it's a bit easier to see I'll put it on a white background off to the side you can see the shielding which is the um, the ground connection and coming out of the red pin is the wire which is going to carry the signal to the composite monitor so I'm about to tin those with a soldering iron and then I'll show you how to um, uh, which pins they go to on the 5 pin DIN connector using a nice hot soldering iron I'll just tin these um, ends here tinning is just the process of putting some solder on so that when we go to solder them to that resultant uh, connector they connect quickly so now that's been done just trim them to a good length we want them about oh, half a centimetre long I'd say I don't know what that is in inches but we're in Australia we don't talk in inches so I'll say a half a centimetre first thing to remember to do put this back on because after you've soldered everything up um, if you forget to put it on then you've got to undo it all again and paint in the back side so we'll put that through like that and now it's there out of the way now what we want to do is solder them onto the holes two of the holes here these are numbered uh, when you look at them from behind and um, my camera will never um, get a, um, a focus on there but I can tell you that number four is um, the uh, that one there and number five is that one there the video signal wants to go to number four and the ground wants to go to number five that's all you really need to know about making this cable so I'll just set this up and get ready to solder it okay I've already soldered pin 
the ground pin on. So I've just got one left to go, which is the video signal pin, which goes to pin four. We'll just solder that on now. strong right that's all there is to it now I could reassemble this um, connector which I will in a moment with the extra parts to complete it but for the moment I just want to test it so we're going to set up our TRS-80 and our um, composite monitor and just test it before we um, put the, the hood onto the uh, onto the connector uh, the cable is now hooked up to the Commodore monitor and into the TRS-80 computer so this is the moment of truth we'll power up the computer and there we go I hope you can see that yep in nice bright white phosphors memory size okay so that is how you make a cable to connect uh, a TRS-80 Model 1 to a composite monitor tested on a Commodore 1084S monitor but it should work with any composite monitor out there like a um, like a Apple monitor or anything like that any questions feel free to, free to email me um, it's an easy cable to make I can clarify any steps if you need help thanks for watching